most developers in Delhi NCR, Mumbai and Bangalore are being forced to offer residential units at a 10 to 25% discount due to the slowdown brought in real estate by the coronavirus pandemic. Consumers are in hiding, demand is down to a trickle. But it is raining discounts. In Mumbai, two ready-to-move-in residential units, one in Ashoka Towers in Parel and the other one in Omkar 1973 in Worli, were available for around Rs 8.5 crore before COVID-19 struck. The same units post the pandemic are available for Rs 7.5 crore to Rs 6.5 crore, a discount of around 12-25%. to In recent weeks, Ready-to-move-in unsold inventory has been changing hands at a discount of up to 25%. Mid-segment units have been sold at about 5-10% to discount. Prices of some luxury housing units have reduced by 20% to 25%. For some ready mid-segment units, developers are offering intelligent freebies to buyers such as no EMI for one year. In case of new projects launched online, some builders are offering deferred payment plans such as 1090. Book the unit by paying 10% upfront and the rest on possession. The Rental Stories In Mumbai, rents of some high-end properties have fallen up to 25%. A lease deal was closed at Bayview Apartments in Verli during the lockdown for 3.25 lakh a month. The rent was 4.5 lakh before the virus upset the market. A unit at Asha Kiran in Alta Mount Road, Mumbai was sealed at Rs 4.5 lakh a month compared with 5.5 lakh before the lockdown. Rentals have declined by up to 25%, especially those that have come up for renewal. Landlords in such cases have preferred staying put with their old tenants. It is uncertain if a new tenant is round the corner. In Bangalore, tenants are upgrading after being told that they would have to work from home. Tech workers residing in a 2BHK close to their workplace and paying a rent of around Rs 35,000 have moved to a 3BHK for the same amount a few kilometres away. Plenty of distressed sales of properties. Distressed sellers abound for units priced between Rs 80 lakh and Rs 1.5 crore. It's true for buyers who want to liquidate their previous assets to raise money for a new property. With timelines approaching to pay up, they are finding it difficult to honour their commitments and are in a hurry to sell off their old asset. Delhi has seen a correction of around 8-15%. to 15%. A ready-to-move Mahindra Luminaire property by Mahindra Life Spaces in Gurgaon recently sold for Rs 3.1 crore. Pre-COVID, it was available for Rs 3.3 crore. A completed property in Gurgaon by Shobha developers changed hands at a discount of around 8% during the lockdown. It was earlier available for Rs 3.35 crore. In Noida, a ready-to-move-in luxury property with a well-known developer was sold for about Rs 9 crore at a 10% discount recently. The project is almost four years old. Ready to move in bucket deals, largely comprising of top floors retained by a developer in Noida, have been sold during the lockdown. A 1800 square feet apartment, along with a 1300 square feet terrace, was offered at an all inclusive price of Rs 75 lakh, a 15 to 20 percent discount by the developer. The price of the unit in the resale market is around Rs 90 lakh. In Bangalore, a 3 BHK worth Rs 90 lakh was finally closed for Rs 80 lakh and another property worth Rs 1 crore was closed at Rs 90 lakh during the lockdown, an almost 10% discount. The deals were being negotiated since last December. A unit in South Delhi's Tony Shantiniketan closed recently at around Rs 10 crore. Sure, location played a role, but the timing was a factor. Futuristic locations fetch more discounts. According to brokers, the price of a property remains a function of the location. But now the circumstances under which a property is being sold also influence sales. Discounts are triggered for properties that are stressed or whether location is not a USP.
In some cases, it is the ready inventory that has been held up by the developer for almost three to four years that is witnessing some serious discounts. Thank <laughs> you.